Hi, welcome to BethButler.com, where I help overwhelmed professionals excel. I'm happy to offer you today a free, short sample of a virtual training classroom class, Five Keys to Managing Your Time More Effectively. If you'd like to have the note-taking sheet, you can visit my website and the virtual training classroom section and download that sheet to take notes. Let's get started taking a look at five keys to managing your time more effectively and in managing your time I am attempting to keep this at no more than six minutes uh, hopefully closer to five so let's get going the first key is to conquer your calendar learning how to calendar well is a great skill for managing your time more effectively here are a few tips I suggest that you use one calendar because you can only physically be in one place at a time anyway carry it around with you whether it's electronic or paper and then you can have layers or different colors to represent different categories Google Calendar is good for that type of thing but you can do that with colors and highlighters I also recommend that you block off major amounts of time even your work time and then you can have appointments within them so you might block nine to five with a particular color as workplace time and then if you have a 10 o'clock staff meeting just jot that within that block this will help you see how much white space you really do have in your life or not and you'll have a certain amount of time blocked off for the things that you have no choice but to do always look at your calendar before you agree to anything I messed up on this not that long ago uh, this is just something that you start thinking oh I have it in my head I'm organized I know what's going on and then something will come up I got a phone call to remind me about an appointment and I was like I didn't remember that I had that so I could have consolidated it with another appointment on that end of town that was happening the same week so be sure you look physically at your calendar and at the events around the day you're trying to decide whether to commit to something you may have a free Saturday afternoon but you might have Friday night Saturday morning Saturday night and Sunday all day booked do you really want to book Saturday afternoon as well always cushion your appointments by 10 to 20 percent things take longer than you expect especially when you're talking about dental or medical appointments for example always book longer amounts of time for things like that so that you won't get stressed out while you wait and schedule your transitions transitions are simply those things that take time to get from one place to another like commuting put them in your schedule because you have to do them and they do take time alright the second is to maintain a few strategic task lists based on your environment you'll want to task list for your workplace that only is involved with your workplace and stays there one for your home that only stays at home and stays there and then you might want one for your third space which may be on your phone for example for when you are running around and doing errands my recommendation is that you consider lists that sync so that you'll have uh, the list with you if you need to only within the categories though I would separate out workplace and home and then I also suggest you have no more than five separate lists that you review regularly don't be into having all kinds of post-it notes all over the place and don't have more than five three is better but five is a limit you only have so much mental capacity control your communication channels we're addicted to our notifications because we we are curious and we don't want to miss out on things look at this person this notification of over 38,000 emails that could stress you out you learn to control what notifications come into your uh, phones and so forth control your curiosity and your fear of missing out pick some times to check certain types of things so that you're not constantly getting uh, blinged and dinged and binged all day long we only get our snail mail once a day I don't know too many people that run to the snail mailbox more than once a day but yet we're in our electronics we want notifications all day long establish daily rhythms a morning routine can be a great help towards starting your day this is mine I won't take the time to go over all of it but there's elements of the every morning that I want to incorporate into every weekday morning at least same thing with our fifth and final tip the evening routine possibly the most important one of the day I believe uh, fly lady for example mentions that that's the most important routine of the day it sets you up for the very next day to have a better more organized day and I hope that these five tips, as fast as we've gone through them, at least give you something practical to begin to apply to your life and that you will come and visit us at BethButler.com. Sign up to be on our mailing list because that's the best way you can find out when the next virtual training class is. Those classes have 10 elements, all designed to appeal to lots of different learning styles. They're self-paced. 
Oh, there's my time. They're self-paced, short-term, and bite-sized, and I know you'll get a lot out of them. So stay in touch, and I hope to see you at one soon. Thanks.